Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. That was very embarrassing. I just started filming and then noticed that my camera didn't have enough space. So I literally just told you the first half of this video into an empty camera. So I guess I got the exercise I needed. So I'm ready to actually give you a review today. Fingers crossed, my camera doesn't stop in the middle of it again. We hope. So today I am going to review a palette for you and it is the Roxaris Ride or Die palette and it is this beautiful, beautiful palette. And to be honest, I had no idea who she was, I'm so sorry, before doing this review because I just bought this palette because I, I thought it looked beautiful. And I guess that's a great compliment to her, like she doesn't have to sell it on her name. Um, but but yeah, I, I actually only bought it because I thought it looked very stunning. So, as I can see, like she's a, a YouTuber, of course I already said that. But she seems very popular, which is probably also why she got a, got a palette of her own. Um, so yeah, I guess uh, I'll just get straight into it. And uh, we will do this a bit more structured than we usually do because usually I just tell you like what I feel in the moment um, but I would like to give you guys a bit more information that I usually do. A little bit more like on the blog where I go straight through everything concerning uh, the product I'm reviewing. I would like to do that for you too here just so you get the real idea of what this product, product actually has to offer. So first we will take the packaging and as I told you I chose this simply for the packaging and I really love it actually, it's very simple, it's very sleek and elegant um, before I put my fingers all over it that is. The colors in here are, I, I just, I think these are so pretty like we got, well I just put my finger in the mirror too, I'm doing great I guess. You already know. So we got a lot of different shades here, a lot of both uh, base mattes uh, to use in a couple of colors like the reddish a bit of a green and yellow but also some neutral ones. Also in these, um, I thought it was a shimmer shade but it seems when you put them on they're more metallic. I'm so sorry I have to sneeze guys. No it's not coming. We'll try again later. But the colors in here are so super nice. So the question you might want to ask me is, but how are they to apply? And to be honest, I got a bit of like mixed feelings here. Because the the mattes, like the ones I usually use, I have this uh, color boo, it is called. I don't know if you can see this, I'm so bad at this. But the color Boo I usually use just all over and it's a great transition shade. It can be really good uh, just for laying down a, uh, a canvas, giving me a blank canvas. And that works really great. Then the other mats I usually put on, um, like it's not just a one swipe thing, you have to build it up a bit, but it works super great. The metallics in here. Uh, as I told you, I thought it was shimmers, seems more metallic as soon as I put like my finger in them, they just seem more smooth than a glittery shade would be. So actually, the shimmers on these, metallics on these, I had a bit of a rough time blending in because as soon as I try to put them on the lid, like when I take them on my finger, most of the product kind of stays on the finger, so when I take it on the lid, of course something comes off and it's also easy enough to make a look with it, but I just feel like a lot of the product still stays on my finger, so I have to wipe my finger off and I feel like that's a bit of a wasted product. Um, I don't know if there's any better way to do it, usually these I just use directly on my finger because I feel like it's easier. Uh, I haven't tried with a brush yet. But maybe I should do that, that might actually be a good idea. So they feel great on the lid. As I said, the, the mattes are doing better, like feel-wise. 
Um, I don't really feel like I have anything on now, so it's not like it feels heavy or anything. It's easy to blend together. As I said, you do have to work a bit with it. So when you take like the normal mats into the lighter ones or darker into the like mat to mat, you have to blend a bit, not like endlessly working, but you do have to, to put in a bit of effort to really get it out. Not that I really mind because putting on make makeup can be a pretty uh, therapeutic thing. So it doesn't matter if it takes like 20 or 30 seconds more to get to blend it all out. Um, but, but I think it's actually pretty great. So the Sandra Bliss I haven't even thought about. Uh, usually I always do this in the, bl uh, in the blog posts. We smell it, so don't mind me. Yeah, it smells like powder. Like wet powder. Doesn't smell like suspicious. Doesn't smell great, but doesn't smell bad either. Just smells like makeup, honestly. I bet you can imagine how that uh, that is if you have ever smelled an eyeshadow before. So I'm totally fine with this, actually. So another thing I usually think about, talk about, mention when we're reviewing is if they have any labels. And I saw the only label I could see on this palette is that it's cruelty free. And I know I say the only label, but that's also pretty good. Like some palettes, some products doesn't have any labels at all. So I feel like this is actually way to go. So, wow. If you hear me saying so about 3,000 times in this video, I'm so sorry. I'm just stupid, that's it. So the... Oh, I did it again. The price of this is what I wanted to say. The price is 13 euros. It's about 100 in my money in Danish kroner. It is 15 and a half US dollars. I don't usually count for those, but some of you are not from Europe, so you might want to get your your own price tag for it. So there you go, 13, 100 or 15 and a half. That's easy to remember as long as you know which one is yours. And the price for this actually is cheap palette. It's actually pretty affordable. Not just pretty affordable compared to some of the other products. I think uh, I get more for my mini Natasha Denona palette than I gave for this palette. Yeah, I know. Um, so compared to that, this is really great. I mean, the the colors, as I said, do well, blend well. They wear long. I haven't said that said that yet. I have been wearing this for a while. Uh, this look I have on, also made from this palette, I will put up some pictures with the, a lot of different looks for you to see. But mainly I did, well you can do a lot of looks with this, but yeah, that's great because of the colors. Yeah, okay, good. I'm rambling, sorry. I saw my boyfriend outside the window, I was like, hello. And I'm rambling on again. Nonetheless, it is very affordable and it's good for the price and I will definitely use it again. I think I've used it like six times already just by trying it and I really, really like it. So uh, thumbs up, thumbs up. I really like this actually. We'll keep on using it, uh, especially compared to like the price. I do have better eyeshadow palettes, but price-wise, this is a great palette. So I think that's all for this time actually and I just hope you all have a happy life. One day at a time.